that was a tricky one. Coming from down there, the water from the river comes from across there, just slammed us against the wall. It's not a traditional lock landing as such, but some steps going up. So this lock is Leeds River Lock, and that takes us to the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, which we've been trying to get on for the last three or four years due to lockdowns, etc. But we finally made it. It was touch and go yesterday because it peed down all day non-stop and uh, the river level rose substantially and uh, we were locked in at the marina and as you can see it's just in the yellow just above the green so uh, proceed with caution that is yellow but we don't have to worry anymore we're back on canals Well, here we are at Oddy Locks. It's a two lock staircase. So the top lock has to be full before you enter the bottom lock. So the water from the top lock fills the bottom lock and allows you to go through. Simple. Tough old gates, these really heavy. You know, I'm going to have to climb up then. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. There she goes. These giant flagstones are absolutely lethal this time of year. They're so slippy when wet. Just got to have your wits about you and just take your time. As a fellow citizen come to health. Well, wouldn't you know it, it started to rain. We've just got this single lock to do and then two more uh, staircase locks to do. But it's taken a lot longer than we expected. The gates are really heavy. The paddles are quite hard to turn often. These gate paddles take 40 plus turns to wind up. And it takes even longer because we have to unlock each paddle with a, a key, an anti-vandal mechanism. So. Uh, it, it takes twice as long to get through a lock than would normally but we're getting there we've got to get through these locks by three o'clock because they close so we've uh, phoned crt let them know we're coming through they're going to hang on for us if we haven't got through by three o'clock it now being about two so there's a fat chance of us doing that i think but uh yeah enjoying it and uh glad to be back on the cut again I'm halfway up Forge Locks, which is a set of triple locks. Um, for some reason, the top lock above me, the paddles have been tampered with or something has happened and they can't close. So while Rich was trying to fill this pound that I'm in, the water levels just weren't levelling out. The water was coming over the head. The ground has all flooded around us and the boat was actually getting stuck on the edge here. 
Um, quite scary, at one point we almost abandoned the boat. Uh, we phoned CRT and the guys from the lock ahead are coming to help us out, but it looks like somebody's been messing with paddles on the top gate, just can't close them, so the water just keeps coming. Um, and at the moment I'm stuck in this lock until they can do something about it because we just can't get level. It looks as if we're all sorted. CRT, thank goodness, we're on the scene within 10 minutes and it would appear that a boat in front of us had put the tamper-proof lock onto the ground paddles without closing them. And on these ground paddles, you can't see if they're open or closed. They're just a, a, a turnstile type paddle. So we couldn't tell that the paddles had been locked open and water just kept coming. So they've had to lower me down, raise me back up again, and um, one more set of triple locks to go. That was pretty scary, Fran, going up through forged locks <laughs> and getting stuck in the middle lock. Why is it always me that's on the boat? <laughs> when we get stuck in a lock, it was like at Chester when I was stuck in the lock. It's always me on the boat and you on the side. Um, it was scary and, you know, I guess in retrospect, you know you're going to be okay. But when you're stuck in a lock and the water's just flowing over, the boat was right up above the edge of the lock. Oh, the, it was the, scary. The gunnels of the lock, of the boat, it felt like I could get stuck and at one point you did say to me just throw the dogs off yeah off. i did say get off the boat get the dogs off and just leave the boat in the middle and we'll sort it out but uh, fortunately i managed to stop the flow of water and uh, crt guys were there in 10 minutes which was brilliant and yeah. they helped us through and sorted out the problem and i guess it was just lucky because we thought we were running out of time we'd phoned ahead to say will the lock keepers still be there because they were closing the locks at three o'clock i think weren't they mm. We thought we were going to be late and they'd given me the phone number of the lock keeper so i had it on the phone to phone him really really quickly and they did respond well didn't they yeah, so, it's amazing yeah. yeah absolutely amazing all was well so it's been a long time since we put a video up where have we been oh my goodness we have traveled so many miles and uh so many rivers so many new canals to us and we just felt we fancied a break from looking at everything through a camera lens we were a little bit um, stuck in limbo because we didn't, we really didn't know where we were heading. We were still hoping that Leeds and Liverpool were going, were going to open, but we didn't know. We were thinking that we might have had to turn south and go back down mm. the River Trent, which we really didn't want to do. Um, so it, it sort of knocked us out of synchronisation a bit. Yeah. We didn't feel that we knew what was going on for a little while. So. Because since August, the Leeds-Liverpool Canal had been closed for a couple of months due to lack of water. And then they said they were opening for two weeks, <laughs> at which point we were in Selby. So we legged it back there to get through at the uh, couple of days after they opened the canal. Yeah. And then uh, we got on, fortunately. Uh, but they've kept it open since, haven't they? So yes. it's remained yeah. open. Yeah. Uh, and it's done nothing but rain ever since we got here. <laughs> water, water everywhere. <laughs> But it's, yeah, we've been lucky really, haven't we now? Yeah, we have, yeah. So it's been great. Um, it's been six weeks since the video went up, maybe. Um, but we're back on it now. We're on the Leeds Liverpool Canal, as we said, and it's somewhere we've wanted to be for such a long time. Yeah, but, four years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But with lockdowns and we got flooded near Wakefield and we had to turn around and go back the other way couple, three years ago, didn't we? Just yeah. before we got married. And, uh, but yeah, we are here and it is gorgeous. Yeah. And um, we've done Bingley Five Rise Locks, which is a daunting thing to do, even though you're guided through with lock keepers to hand. Yeah. It's still a, a scary bunch of locks, isn't it? It is scary, yeah. There's a lot of water comes down those locks. I, I just don't know that I'd want to do that as a single boater. You know, it's, I don't think you're allowed to do it on your own, are you? I think you have to no, have lock yeah. keepers there because yeah. they're fierce fierce locks yeah. 
and there's certain times of the day you can go up and a certain time of the day you can come down so it's yeah. all uh, done for you which is great well we've had a, a long summer on rivers haven't we and we've not particularly been enjoying rivers that much have we it's uh, been different completely yeah. different we were really glad to get back to i know it sounds funny we're complaining about these locks being difficult but it was really good to get back to standard locks yeah, again wasn't it, it? and um mooring up on towpath not on, on floating pontoons everywhere it was we've had a lovely summer lots of wildlife but mm. um we always say this when we've been on rivers we're so glad to get back to canals again aren't we absolutely yeah. absolutely and also in the meantime we've been to wales we spent nearly a week in wales which was great i went uh, walking in snowdonia with my brothers um that was brilliant and then you came along didn't you for the last yeah. few days yeah and uh we actually left the boat didn't we on canal side for the first time yeah this boat for the first time ever we had no option because the canal has been closed for so long people that were stuck up here all over the summer have gone into the marinas there were no, no moorings anywhere for us to put the boat into um and we couldn't get through there were still closed locks ahead mm. of us at that point so we couldn't get to anywhere where we could get into a marina and leave the boat safely and in the end we just thought we're gonna to have to leave it and it was we did worry uh, while we we're away weren't we it was on the back of our mind all the time it is was. the boat okay yeah, yeah. um but it was, it was fine. absolutely yeah. fine there were other boat but other boats around and people sort of keep a lookout for each other um and it's been fine so uh, what's ahead of us we've got the whole of the leeds liverpool canal and we're not going to rush it. We're just going to take our time and uh, see everything that we can see. The, the rest that we've had from video, and you've been doing lots of art, haven't you? And yeah. broken through a few barriers, I think, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, just, just uh, in a bit of a creative spell at the moment. And uh, Fran's been doing loads of weaving as well. And we've just been enjoying, enjoying the life that we started doing. The reason why we started doing this was to enjoy the canal and uh, everything it has to offer. And that's certainly we've been doing that. Video, we, all, we did know from the beginning that we'd be making videos, but the point of this life was not about making videos. We didn't come on this journey, or this <laughs> We're journey, on a journey to make videos. We came on it to explore our, our life and what we wanted yeah. to do. And the videos came second place to that. And sometimes making videos can take over, can't it? And it can it become can, yeah. the whole point. You decide you've got to do something because you need to make a video. Um, and that is definitely was never our aim. That's not why we did this life, is it? Absolutely not. So we no. have to rein it in every every now and again and just recenter ourselves. But. We do. So we've put loads of our artwork and um, weavings on our website. And so they all sold out pretty quickly, didn't they, yeah, more or less? So yeah. thanks to everybody that's uh, bought one of our little uh, things. And also, also thanks to everybody who buys our mugs and T-shirts. And yeah. we forget to mention this, but yeah, yeah. it's great. I and, mean, you know, it's it's great to see pictures of our mugs on someone's coffee table in, <laughs> in San Diego, America, or somewhere like that. So thanks to everybody. And again... For our patrons and mem YouTube members, thanks for your yeah. uh, patience and sticking with us. Yeah, yeah brilliant. because we, we realise that for the last six weeks, there's not been that much coming out from us. But um, thank you for staying there and we'll, we'll do better now. So anyway, the video is not finished yet. We're going up Bingley Five Rise. Before you get up Bingley Five Rise, there's a three rise staircase to do, which you're also guided up. Uh, but here's a little bit of footage of that before we go. So uh, thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. And we forgot to mention we went through Saltair Village, which was built in 1851 by Sir Titus Salt. Named after the founder's surname and the River Eyre, it is now known as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In addition to the mill, Salt built neat stone houses for his workers, including wash houses, schools, a hospital and recreation facilities such as a park, library and gymnasium. Now the mill houses a wonderful collection of paintings by local boy David Hockney and space for other exhibitions. Well worth a visit.
this is our first lock of the day. This is Hurst Lock, just outside Salt Air. This is a single lock, then we've got a double staircase lock, a triple staircase lock, and then Bingley Five Rise, five staircase lock. So um, we have to be escorted up the Five Rise and the Three Rise by volunteers. And uh, looking forward to it. It's an iconic, one of the seven wonders of the canal system. And it's a wrap. View. So that's that done and I've no desire to go up or down the Bingley locks ever again. <laughs>